This is Kai Barger, and you're watching Grind TV. At select pro surfing events, like the Nike 6.0 Lowers Pro, the Oakley Pro Junior is a lot more than a sideshow to the 6.0 Lowers Pro, the biggest WQS event of the year on the U.S. mainland. The ASP's Pro Junior circuit is comprised of the world's best surfers under 20 years of age. For them, this is the first step of climbing up through the ASP farm system. But the Oakley Pro Junior here at Trestles is much more than a regular Pro Junior tour stop. It's also the U.S. qualifier for Oakley's Global Challenge, a $75,000 invite-only event that takes place in Bali later this year. The event will feature surfers who qualified through Oakley's Pro Junior stops on six separate continents over the next few months. Those who make the cut for the trip to Bali will face a local contingent and some hand-picked wild cards to compete for a $20,000 first prize, the biggest there is in the world of Pro Juniors. It's no surprise that Dusty Payne, last year's Oakley Pro Junior Global Challenge winner, is making a huge dent now on the WQS. After winning in Bali, Payne nearly won the prestigious Triple Crown in Hawaii last December, and his role seems to be continuing. His equal fifth place here at Lowers will undoubtedly be a keeper on his WQS campaign this year, and his path is the same one that other juniors now hope to follow. Of course, whether these surfers qualify for the championships in Bali or not, they relish the opportunity to surf on a much bigger and brighter stage, like Lowers. We started this three years ago doing our pro juniors in conjunction with WQSs, and it's been a great stepping stone because the kids get to surf the wave, obviously, as the junior, and then as they build up, they can, they can either double dip and do both events, where they're surfing the QS and the juniors, so they get twice as much opportunity to get a little bit of a stepping stone in the QS and also excel in the junior. So, I mean, it's all the kids you're going to be competing against in, like, when you're doing the QS in the next, like, couple years, and, yeah, it's good to have it a bunch of waves during all the QS contests. And it's just as fun for the pros to keep their eyes on who will be nipping at their heels. Watching them the, the whole week and some of them was reaping and I, was, I didn't expect to see that sort of kid here. The Oakley Pro Junior at Lowers showcased a bunch of future surfing stars. Kids like Nat Young, Dylan Perillo, Kai Barger, and Andrew Doheny kept the crowd enthralled. In the end, Hawaii's Kai Barger, the current Pro Junior World Champion, demonstrated why he's at the top of the pack by taking the Golden Railroad spike at Lowers. He defeated Australia's Davy Cathals in the final, and both surfers are now making travel arrangements for Bali. That is the best part about this whole win. I, I, I've been to that event. You know, I went to the first one, the, last, the one that they had last year, and it's, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's the best event on the planet. Um, for juniors and that you know that's definitely the best part about winning this whole contest <laughs>